Honey, Jack and I want nothing more than to get married, and we will, but, but we can wait. Yeah, your mother's right. Look, we're going to be spending the rest of our lives together. We're going to be together forever, so there's no rush to plan this wedding. Forever isn't as long as you think it is. Sweetheart, let's, let's just take these days as they come. Until you... They're taken away from you until you don't get any more? No, I mean... Right now, let's, let's remember Zach. Let's honor Zach. Just please don't ignore your lives. Live them. Plan your wedding. Get married. Love each other every second of every day. And we do, honey. We do. And we love you just as much. Yeah, they'll do it when the time is right. When all these crazy charges about David are oh dropped. God, David, David, David has taken so much from all of us. We have to stop David from, from continuing this. We will, honey. How do you know that? How? David never stops. He made Greenlee's life hell. He made Ryan's life hell. Zach is dead because of him. David is the one who should be dead, not Zach. David is the one who should pay, not me, not my boys. And we do deserve happiness, and we deserve joy. And we will, we won't wait. As soon as we settle my legal problem, then we will plan our wedding. Promise me that you won't wait. You never know it. You don't know. It might be too late. Okay, um, I need to rest. Okay. I am trying not to overreact about the fact that you have a date with your wife. It's not a date date. Just a date. To talk about my peacemaking idea, remember? And remind her about all the reasons she fell in love with you in the first place? No, remind her that we were friends first. Just how friendly is this going to be? I'm going to be sincere. This decision on AJ's custody case doesn't have to be a battle. And try to persuade her to make this amicable. You know, maybe she'll drop the entire suit altogether, no trial. And that way we'll have an arrangement that everybody can live with. And if it works, we could really just be a normal couple. Counting on it. You know, I meant what I said. What I feel about you. I don't want to sneak around anymore. I want us to feel free together. I don't want to hide my feelings for you. So, what if Marissa doesn't buy it? Then I'll push whatever buttons that need to be pushed. Oh, what about my buttons? Well, your buttons are a lot more interesting. <laughs> for example, this uh, this neck button right here. Huh. <laughs> The, well, this, uh, this uh, shoulder button. <laughs> mm. yeah, I like that button. <laughs> it's not like I suddenly trust JR. I don't. But there was just... There was something about him today. He was different. He was real. I can at least listen to what he has to say, right? Not my business. Well, that's the thing. JR kind of is your business. No, he kind of is not my business. My fight with JR has nothing to do with your custody battle. That is something that I promised you and your mother a long time ago that I would stay completely away from. And that's what I like about you. You make a promise and you keep it. You tell it like it is. That's why I've, you know, come to value your opinion on things. I'm all for people working out their differences. But with Junior, he's always got something up his sleeve. I know. You know. Well, as long as you know what you're getting into. Hi. Hi, how was Kendall? Uh, honestly, uh, struggling. I'm glad to see you. Couldn't have been easy going back to the place that Zach died. It was really hard for me. I can't imagine what it was like for Kendall. If only Ryan and I just... No, 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 no. Don't do that, Greenlee. Come on. Look, it's, it's best that we just... Do what we can for her. Just it, it was a tragedy, but we have to move on. And that'll be the best thing for her. I thought I broke through to her in California. The minute we got back, she shut down, she sent me away. So you have to keep trying, you know? We'll love her and those two clients and just do everything we can for her. It's hard to do every time she sees my face. She's reminded of how Zach died. And why. It was an accident. What happened to Zach was not your fault. And one day, eventually, Kevin will see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
What do you want to see me about? It's about David. I want a divorce as soon as possible. Sweetheart, that is the best news I've heard all year. Just tell me it'll be quick and painless. Actually, the first thing we have to do is we have to get you one. Get you separated from David in terms of medical decisions. Um, get you out from under that cloud. Then we'll work on the divorce. Get you free from him. Like an advocate. Like a stranger, someone who doesn't know David. Yes, lucky advocate. Yes, very much like that. Look, uh, uh, the divorce is going to take a while, but we can move immediately to separate you from David in terms of his medical situation. No. That... I want to hold off on finding an advocate. You think I'm crazy? No. It's just... You don't have to explain. Let's just focus on the divorce. I wish you didn't have to go. I know, but if Marissa doesn't stop her DEFCON 10 tactics, we wouldn't have to be hiding out in hotel rooms or when mm. nobody's looking. I could walk into any restaurant with you on my arm. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. But what if you just piss her off more? Oh, you know how charming I can be? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'll be right back. Promise? I think I tried to kill my husband. Here we are. Sure, why? Look, I'm really... I want to find a way that AJ can spend Christmas with the both of us. You would love that. Yeah. I gotta tell you, he, he's already making his Christmas list. Uh, it's three pages long, and, and trust me, the pages are not short. <laughs> it's only gonna be a few more years that he's gonna believe in the big man, the red suit. Yeah. And putting out cookies? He still thinks that Santa Claus doesn't like nuts in his cookies because you don't like nuts in yours. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. It's only going to be a few more years. And he's going to be growing up and out of the house. That's why I want to make the most of these years. That's so do I. Do you remember how sick I was last year? Of course. How could I forget? That's why I really want to make this work. I want to find a way that we can both be happy with the custody arrangements. And all I'm asking is for you to give me that chance. I'm really glad that Kendall decided to go ahead with the memorial service for Zach. Yeah, me too. I mean, she may not see it right now, but I, I think it'll help her heal. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. You know, Kendall was talking about us planning our wedding, but we were talking about a holiday wedding. We don't have the time to do that, do we? Really? No, we don't. We've been just so totally involved with all the tragedy. We'll work it out. I know we will. You know what Kendall said is true. Mm -hmm. We should live each day as if it's our last. And we should take every chance we possibly can to tell each other how much we love each other. You're absolutely right. I love you. <sighs> I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Join us. May I just please have a seat? What's on your mind? It's for a moment. The, um, your friend, the DA, is considering pressing charges against you. Now, 
if Hayward's condition improves, so does our position. But if it doesn't, well, then Lies is going to be under pressure to do something about it, and we have to be prepared. David fooled me, too. If I even had a hint. But you went through hell, and I was a big part of that, and I am sorry. He didn't care who got tangled up in his plans. All he cared about was getting what he wanted. If people got hurt, if he died, it was no big deal to him. He loved you. I mean, he would talk about it all the time and how you were the only one that really understood him and you would be able to save him and make him a better man if he could just get you to love him again. David's a very sick man. And no one can save him. flowers in the ocean. That was the closest I will ever get to my husband again. But here you are, alive. Like you're taking a little cat nap. I want your chest to stop moving. I want your heart to stop beating. And I want you in hell where you belong so this whole thing can be over with.